This is the Nebraska Men's Basketball Radio Show with head coach Fred Hoiberg. Presented by your Midwest Ford dealers. Visit buyfordnow.com. Back out to Greasel. The fake, the drive, the kick. Vandemel's three. Got it! Another three ball by Vandemel. He's got two of those puppies this afternoon. Another CBA three. Huge goal. The kick out. Jenkins touch pass. Morton. Three ball. No. Into the hands of Gary. Down the floor to Tomanaga. Tomanaga puts it up. Got it! Got it! Got it! Got it! We've got a four-point game! Holy smokes! Case Tomanaga with 12.07 to go! Greasel to Walker. Squares. Edie is on him. Cuts across the key. Backs him in. Throws one up. And got it with a left hand. That's that hook from waist-high level. Greasel on the right sideline. Starts in. Cut off. Tomanaga. Three ball on the way. Bang! Ba-ba-ba-bang! Tomanaga ties this puppy at 56! Tomanaga with eight on the shot clock over to Wiltshire. Seven high post. It's Walker. Drives in on Edie again. Throws it up. And in! The first lead of the game! Derek Walker gives Nebraska a 58-57 lead. Here is your host, Greg Sharp, on the Huskers Radio Network. And welcome to another week of Sports Island. We're going to start off tonight with our men's basketball show for the week. The head coach, Fred Hoiberg, with us for an hour. If you want to be a part of the program with a call or a text, 402-413-2400. That's the number to be a part of this show. Wow, what an effort. What a game. What an atmosphere. That was a really fun Saturday. It just didn't quite turn out the right way at the end, but it was a cool place to be on Saturday. Yeah, really, the atmosphere was incredible. And, you know, when Casey hit that second three to cut the lead to four, um, you know, I've never heard that place like that. So we, we really appreciate the support. And, uh, you know, obviously had a great start to the week. It capped off a heck of a week. You start out against top ten team on the road, you know, get a big emotional win, then go play another top ten team on the road uh, three days later and find out about an hour and a half before the game that we're not going to have Greasel. So, you know, that was tough uh, with him out of the lineup. And then come home and play the team that today was announced as the number one team in the country and just went toe-to-toe with them. You know, I was just so proud of how our guys continued to fight and battle through adversity, stay resilient, did a heck of a job with the game plan, and really battled uh, the big guy. I think Edie had eight games in a row, 28 points or more, and we held him to 12 and really forced them to kick the ball out and, and force it into more of a perimeter type game. And, you know, just did everything that we had to do to give ourselves a chance. Unfortunately, we just we had plenty of chances to win that game. The free throws, the two missed one and ones, split in the next two, and then you know that one possession where we had four chances at it, where you know had some really good looks. But you know that being said, with with with, with all that, you still have a chance. And you know had, had a, a play at the end there where obviously the call went against us, uh, but would have had numbers on a break there with about 10 seconds left. You know to hopefully give ourselves a chance to win it. But you know it, it didn't happen. Uh, but again, we thank the fans so much. Uh, that atmosphere means everything. Um, you know, we, we're going to need them in a big way once we come league play. We've got one more non-conference game at home against Queens College, who's a really good team. They're, I believe, 8-2 and two or 9-2 and two now with some really good wins uh, after Kansas State, which we have coming up this weekend, another really good non-conference opponent. Yeah, Queens handed Marshall their only loss of the year at this point in time. Uh, you mentioned holding Edie to 12. You did the same thing to Trace Jackson Davis. He had to now he offset that with a bunch of assists and that type. But you held him to 12 points as well in the midweek game. Yeah, you know, again, with Indiana, you have to take away something. And with we decided the game plan to try to take away Trace Jackson Davis. And we came from uh, the baseline side on him on some double teams. And they had players that had not made threes that stepped up and made shots, nine of them uh, for Galloway and for, uh, for Tamar Bates. Yeah. You know, those guys hit four and five and uh, nine combined. You don't expect that. But, you know, give them credit. They, they adjusted. They, they made plays. Plays. We took the double team off uh, late in the game, but you know, again, those guys are hitting shots that hit every part of the rim, bounce off the backboard, and go in. So you try to take away that that first option, try to contest with spirit, contest which we did. Galloway hit two late end of shot clock shots, and Bates did the same thing with a crazy step back. So, you know, again, uh, that was another game without Sam. We got up to a very poor start, uh, but really battled him and cut that thing to seven. Took two charges in a row. I thought had another that we stepped in there, did a good job taking it. 
Um, our guys are doing a really good job of sacrificing their bodies and making those kind of plays, uh, big momentum plays, uh, but we didn't get the calls on them. And, you know, they come down and uh, we had a chance to cut it to five and, you know, maybe, maybe even, uh, you know, down to three or two. So, you know, again, a, a really good environment. Assembly Hall win full is one of the best in the country, and that place was rocking, but our guys fought all the way to the end. Sam doesn't play Wednesday. He's sick. Plays 38 minutes Saturday. How? I mean, my goodness. Yeah, I, I kept, he, and he looked at, I mean, I kept oh asking him. In fact, when he got fouled you on the one, I asked time. him, do you need a timeout? Yeah. You needed to get a breather, and he said, no, I'm fine. And then that was why, I mean, his free throw hit every part of the rim, unfortunately, and bounced out. But, you know, he's, the kid's a warrior, man. And, you know, for him to miss a game, that shows you how serious of an illness that he had. And then to have two days, he didn't do much the next day in practice. Uh, you know, did a little bit, kind of in a walkthrough the day before. And then he go back and play at 115, you know, a couple days after that illness. Uh, that he had and, and you could see it I mean he could see it in his face but I kept asking him I kept communicating with him he said keep me out here coach I feel feel fine and uh, he, he gave us a chance I mean what he did first to floor diving on on the floor getting loose balls we talk about that a lot winning the 50 50 game on 50 50 loose balls uh, and then block shots unfortunately one that they you know uh, uh, called a foul on but you know overall I thought Sam you know he, he did not shoot the ball well obviously but he did everything else to keep us in that game Arden Los Angeles on our text line coach says let the coach know we sure see a much better team this year keep it up uh, great things are coming go big red I think the fans are seeing what you've seen for several months this is a pretty easy team to root for yeah and I, and I appreciate that text art but a, a lot of our uh, that's what I talked about from the beginning with this team I really thought it would be a team that our fan base could rally behind because of how hard they play and I see it every day in practice Greg and you know they came in today after a day off yesterday after that long week and were eager to get back on the floor uh, with three games in six days uh, we did not take a day off last week and the rule is you have to take two days the following week uh, in order to have a, a week without without a day so we took yesterday came in today had a good workout really worked on you know when we put in the new system really in Orlando kind of on the fly when the pressure was really bothering us and heating us up and we got Derek back on the floor we have not had a lot of practice time and court time uh, you know to really work on the nuances and then you have a couple guys that are out with different illnesses and that kind of thing so today gave us a chance to really work on some of those details um, you know tomorrow will be an off day guys will get treatments uh, a lot of them are going to come in to get massage and soft tissue work and then we'll get back after it on Wednesday and get three good days of prep heading into Kansas City. Dorothy Lynch homestyle light and lean dressing endless flavor abilities there's an old adage that with shop lockers you want to take it right into them does it change when they're seven four I mean if they're <laughs> six eleven or seven foot but seven man that's an extra half a foot he's well, got I'll say this if you don't get into their body you ain't getting over top of them and I think you saw a cup blaze tried to back him down on one possession he just stood there with, with his hand straight up and and uh you know got the block and I, I think he just kind of caught the ball but you know Derek just has a way of doing that the way he maneuvers and spins off guys bodies and he has such uh, great touch and different angles where he can get his jump hook off and he's got a really good left hand and that's where Derek was able to hit a couple baskets for us in overtime to finally get the lead uh you know unfortunately we just couldn't get enough stops in the other end. Did you play with Rick Smith? I did play with Rick Smith four years. Similar body type. Very, yeah. Seven four. Uh, you know, similar type touch as yeah. well. Uh, he's built a little bit like Yao, to be honest with you. I mean, Yao with those big, thick legs and uh, you know, thick body, wide shoulders. Uh, you know, that's kind of the build that he has. And you know, I'll tell you what. When you looked at watching on, I mean, it was scary P preparing for that game. They run so many different sets. They overload the floor. Uh, some they balance it on others they try to keep lifted above the free throw line uh, to open up that pass over the top and that's where our guys were so uh, attentive to the details of that game plan you know they try to uh, you know have a lot of fluff on top of the floor but we just really sat that low man in there on the opposite side uh, to try to take away any type of high low and get into his body uh, which did allow us to force some turnovers were you happy with Emmanuel's ball pressure in that one he was I mean he, he was he's unbelievable on the ball and you know just getting into it and the other thing that does Greg it forces the offense further away from the basket when you're getting picked up 94 feet when they're comfortable they're virtually impossible to stop that's the number one offense in the country uh, by numbers and you know with Emmanuel picking up the point guard all the way up the floor and extending the offense that allows us to get set uh, for our other four guys in the half court 
you didn't out rebound, but, but you were darn close, like one or two <clears throat> off. And that's a team that can bury you on the backboard, can't they? Yeah, well, they get 40% of their misses, which is one of the top uh, offensive rebounding rate in, in, the, in the country. And the other thing, we got 19 offensive rebounds and, and had plenty of second chance opportunities. A couple of those where we just could not quite convert, unfortunately. But yeah, we, from an effort standpoint, Greg, we did exactly what we had to do. We just did not get that thing in the hoop enough. Well, uh, it's just a great effort, and what I do want to mention for the folks that your next home game is Queens College. Folks, that is not part of your season ticket package. It's a different ticket, and so it's, it should be a fun game. It's a better team than what the name may sound like, but that's the game right before Christmas for the Huskers. It is a week from tomorrow. It's a 6 o'clock tip, so you've got to go to the PBA ticket office or Ticketmaster. You can order those tickets online. It is, again, not part of your season ticket package. And you need a good crowd there. That, that team's not bad. Yeah, well, they were 30-2 and two last year, and they as made a the D, as a D2. Yeah, yeah, they made the transition this year, but, you know, a lot of the same personnel, and, you know, they beat some good teams a year ago, and they beat some really good teams, including that game you talked about earlier at Marshall, who's 9-1 and one now. So, yeah, it's, it's going to be a tough game, and that's our last opportunity uh, before the holiday, and then we bounce back and play one league game against Iowa uh, before the new year. Another big game right yep. there. That one is part of the season ticket package, folks, but if you have season tickets, Queens game is not included in that, so make some arrangements between now and next week. James in Omaha for you, Coach. Was at the game Saturday. Was the most fun I've had at a basketball game in years. Thank you. Go Big Red. Well, appreciate that, James, very much. I, I, I sure wish we could have got over the hump on that one to, to beat that team. I think it was the highest-ranked opponent Nebraska's ever played in PBA. Just would have been such a signature win and a program-changing win. And, you know, again, that, that, that play at the end, you know, people say all the time, you know, it shouldn't come down to one play. But, you know, again, we made a – I thought CJ, you know, got off it. And, you know, the ball obviously fell into Sam's hands. And then he got numbers. But, you know what, it, it, it is what it is. Um, if we compete like that, that was my message to our team after the game. Every single night we're going we're gonna to win our, our fair share of games. Folks, buckle up. Put the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Finals week this week. You and I talked about this on the TV show last week. It's different from when, like, you and I were in college. They're not, they're not going to an actual classroom. Most of these are done on their computer, aren't they, anymore? They, they really are. And, you know, like, a couple of them have finals, and they're going to take them tomorrow, but they have until Friday. And, you know, back in the day, yeah, you're here at 945. <laughs> you're taking your final, and you have till 11 to finish it. Yeah. But, yeah, it's, it's different now with, with everything. So much online. Uh, you know, these days. Some of them still have you know, in person. A lot of them have papers and projects that they have to get done. And, and it's an important week, Greg. I mean, these guys have done a great job all semester, uh, but they need to finish the job. 402 413 2400. That's our Sports Alley Hotline brought to you by Woodhouse, where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com. Anytime, 18 brands and a huge selection of pre owned. You can always find what you're looking for with Woodhouse. More with the coach coming up next. I'm University of Nebraska-Lincoln student Hannah Pham with Campus News. Nebraska has taken over leadership from Princeton University in coordinating the U.S. physics community at the Large Hadron Collider in Switzerland. For its role, Nebraska has been awarded over $50 million in National Science Foundation grants. This cutting-edge work at the world's largest particle accelerator helps physicists uncover the origins and makeup of the universe. Greatness doesn't happen overnight. It takes time, focus, and dedication. At Shelter Insurance, we understand that because we put in the hard work and dedication for decades. And that commitment has paid off with award-winning customer service for your auto, home, and life insurance. Visit shelterinsurance.com and find an agent to help you choose the coverage you need. Shelter Insurance. We're your shield. We're your shelter. Find your next truck at Woodhouse Buick GMC. No matter where you're heading or what tasks need tackling, there's a premium and capable GMC truck that's perfect for you. Make a statement on the job site, out on the town, or wherever life leads you in the powerful and distinctive Sierra 1500. Or elevate your driving experience in the adventurous and innovative canyon. Explore our inventory online at WoodhouseBuickGMC.com or visit our indoor showroom today. Woodhouse Buick GMC. We are professional grade. Families who travel to Nebraska's only Ronald McDonald House are facing extremely uncomfortable situations. Their child is sick in an unfamiliar city, unsure of how to handle it all. But when they walk in the Ronald McDonald House, they can find comfort in the little things. A quiet moment away from the bombardment of beeps and buzzes in a hospital room. The taste of a home-cooked meal. 
a calming voice saying it'll be okay. Help us provide the little things that make a big difference. Support a one-night stay for a family in need by visiting rmhcomaha.org slash huskers. Touchdown, Nebraska! If you're doing business in Nebraska, the best way to connect your organization with the excitement surrounding the Huskers is through a partnership with Nebraska Athletics. You can take your business to the next level by reaching loyal Husker fans through in-venue signage, digital and social media, radio advertising, and more. Got it! Join the Husker team today and email partners at huskers.com to learn more about opportunities to connect with Husker Nation. That's partners at huskers.com. Get us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Agriculture is the economic engine of the Midwest. At Acres Equipment, we dedicate ourselves to making that engine run smoothly. We supply our farmers and ranchers with quality John Deere equipment, parts, and service. We also deliver the most advanced technology and precision ag strategies to help them farm today and for the future. Acres Equipment, solutions for every field. Bank of the West is offering the first checking account designed for climate action. It gives back 1% of the account's net revenue to the planet at no cost to you. Shows you the estimated carbon impact of debit card purchases. And there's no minimum balance required. Learn more at bankofthewest.com slash 1%. Additional conditions apply. Member FDIC. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. Nebraska. If you're doing business in Nebraska, the best way to connect your organization with the excitement surrounding the Huskers is through a partnership with Nebraska Athletics. You can take your business to the next level by reaching loyal Husker fans through in-venue signage, digital and social media, radio advertising, and more. Got it! Join the Husker team today and email partners at huskers.com to learn more about opportunities to connect with Husker Nation. That's partners at huskers.com. At CHI Health Clinic, we believe healthcare should be personal because knowing your provider personally makes appointments more comfortable, more productive, and more meaningful to your overall health. Get matched with a primary care provider based on your personality and lifestyle using CHI Health Clinic's My Provider Match. Take the survey at myprovidermatch.com to find the right provider for you. Getting healthier starts by getting personal at CHI Health Clinic. Farmers Mutual of Nebraska is proud to support Husker Athletics. Having a competent teammate beside you makes all the difference when it comes to protecting what matters most. With a proven track record of dependable coverage, unmatched financial strength, and a prompt claim service team right here in Nebraska, that's insurance kept local. Visit FMNE.com to contact an agent for a quote today. Farmers Mutual of Nebraska, always alongside you. Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest's premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every fuel. We're back our men's basketball show for the week. The head coach, Fred Hoiberg, with us for a little bit longer, 402-413-2400. To the phones, we go up to Omaha and Mark. Good evening, Mark. You're up with the coach. Hey, how's it going, guys? Good. I'm, I'm sure Greg hears from me a lot. I call one about every sport. <laughs> Hey, uh, I want to say, uh, Fred, I, it's a joy in watching your team so far this year. you got some kids out there that are hustling, and there is no substitution for hustle. Um, that Gary and that Bottomell, these two, these two guys, are they're gamers. So um, I guess uh, my only question is, are, are you going to play a little more zone? And, I, you know, I, the other day, I guess it, it – it gets a little tougher when you play tough on defense because it does take your offense away when you're out there. 
and both of these teams, you were pretty well gassed coming in the last five minutes. You guys were really busting both teams on this defense. But uh, I just want to say it. I'd like to see you play more zone because I know Johnny Orr taught you zone. So good luck the rest of the year. Okay, thanks, Mark. We actually we didn't play a whole lot of zone with Coach Orr. Uh, we, we did a little bit of 2 2 1 press, which we actually threw out there in a couple possessions uh, the other night against Purdue just to try to force him out of rhythm. Uh, you know, I thought our man was, was, was really uh, effective, especially when you look at that second half. We held him to 29% uh, field goal percentage. And, uh, you know, I, I just I, I really thought we did a good job taking Edie uh, away. And then our rotations were, were, for the most part, really crisp and, and, um, uh, and on point. So, you know, if if the we went one possession of zone against Indiana and they dunked it right in our face, so that was the last uh, that was the last one we did on that. And then, uh, you know, again, I thought our man, you know, has been pretty effective. We did play quite a bit of zone in Orlando against uh, against Memphis, and in that first game against Oklahoma. So, you know, you'll see it. We have it in our package for sure. And there's going to be several times where we do throw it out this year. But if our man to man is effective, that's that's definitely our primary defense out there. Actually, Coach Floyd was a guy that I played my last year at Iowa State. He would really junk it up uh, quite a bit uh, more than any other coach I'd ever played for. He would triangle in two and box in one. Uh, we had a defense that he called the shade where we would just face guard and try to completely take uh, take a guy out of, uh, of the offensive flow, which was very unique, uh, you know, and the, and the only time I'd really seen that. So, you know, we did junk it up a little bit, and it was great playing for both those guys. They had very different philosophies on both ends of the floor. And then from an offensive standpoint the other night, yeah, you know, we had a lot of really clean looks, I thought, and wide open ones. And unfortunately, uh, they just didn't fall like they needed to. Casey had a really good offensive night, had a good rhythm going, hit the big one there at the end, uh, you know, a little play that we ran out of a timeout, you know, great. They actually defended it very well because they just rose up with great confidence and knocked that down. So, you know, it, it's just, uh, again, got some good practice days, you know, to really work again. K-State's really going to pressure us. Uh, you know, they got great length and physicality and really, really athletic. Uh, so it's going to be a game plan where we have to handle that well if we have a chance to win. They do a great job turning uh, their opponent over as well. But, again, we get uh, three more days of practice and prep and, and hopefully put a good game plan together and go down there and have a chance. Coach Dreis on our YouTube chat room says, since the Big Ten sent an apology to Rutgers for the missed call at the end of their game against Ohio State, I wonder where our apology is. Well, I, I did, you know, just kind of the procedure. And Terry Weimer, who I have a lot of respect for, Terry was a long, long time uh, NCAA referee and, you know, coach national or uh, refereed national championship games. I did talk to him that evening. He gave me a call and just kind of talked about that. And that was one of the questions I asked, is there going to be something that comes out? And he said, no, it, it, that, that was a, a rules violation that happened or a missed rule uh, that happened in that Rutgers and uh, Ohio State game, and ours was a judgment uh, call, so there, there, there's not a statement that comes with that. First Interstate Bank built for you. Learn more at www.firstinterstatebank.com, member FDIC. John in Omaha on our text line says, I'm having my young players look at teams breaking full court pressure without getting into your secret specifics. Are there some basic thoughts you can mention to breaking full court pressure? Thanks. Love watching the Huskers. Go Big Red. Yeah, that, that's a great question. You know, different philosophies based on the type of press that it is. We have a different press break. If it's a full court man-to-man uh, -man or, or zone press, and then if it's a three-quarter kind of containment press, we have a different attack on that as well. One thing we do want to do is try to get out in front of it, get numbers and attack, and, and try to get a basket on the back end. Uh, you know, a lot of teams just throw it back and forth against that containment and, you know, take time off the shot clock and then you're getting into your offense uh, a lot later. But we really do try to attack. If it's an odd man front, we actually attack it. If it's, a, let's say, a one, two, two, three quarter court press, we will attack it in an odd man. So, you know, we'll have the one uh, at the head and then, you know, really try to get it up and then attack it with a skip pass. Uh, over the top or hit the middle from one of those two backline guys. But, you know, again, the, the attack uh, against a press, really what they're trying to do is get you on your heels. We really want to attack it and try to get an easy basket. Got a suggestion on, uh, on the text line. Uh, can we come up with some headbands and T-shirts with Go Big Red in Japanese? Ah, 
Great question. How uh, well is he playing for you? Probably? Oh, he's been incredible. Yeah, I just, you know, I love the kid so much for the passion that he plays with. I admire that. Uh, you know, there's not a lot of guys every day when they walk in the gym that have so much enthusiasm for the game. And that's how KC is. I mean, he wants to win every drill, whether it's a three on uh, two uh, build up drill or, uh, you know, getting out in the scrimmage. And then you see the passion that he plays with and just how much he loves seeing his teammates do it as well. So, uh, yeah, that's, I, that's a good question. I don't know how that works. Uh, you know, as far as the Japanese and then name image likeness, you know, that's another thing with, True. you know, international kids, the rules are constantly changing on that. But, you know, Casey obviously has had a heck of a year. And, and this comes after a great summer for Casey. He really uh, grew in his confidence by playing so well against some of the top competition in the world. This kind of follows along that. Roger on our text line said, love the lift that you're getting from a couple guys off the bench. Coach, it was in your hands this Saturday against Purdue, was in the stands. PBA can be a real asset. And future home games, keep it up. Always backing our guys. Well wishes. Go Big Red. Yeah, yeah. No, I know. I really appreciate that. It, it, it is. That that crowd was absolutely incredible. That that's a, a great atmosphere. You need that in your home court. Uh, you know, we get nine more chances in the the Big Ten. Play nine more quality opponents, and then you have the one game against Queens. Um, you know, coming up as well. So yeah, we we appreciate the support. And again, I, with with the way this 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 team plays and how hard they get after it, we know that support will continue. Buckle up, put the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. You talked about taking a couple of charges. Blaze has a real knack for doing that, doesn't he? Yeah, he's. Um, he, yeah, absolutely. He, he's he's the best on our team, and it's not even close. You see the numbers in practice. We have a charge board that we have. We made shirts for the guys with all the charges that they've taken over the year. But he just steps in there. The guy that, that drew a huge one at Creighton was Derek. I thought that was the yeah. play of the game late with about a minute and a half left. He stepped up after a turnover and took a huge charge. Uh, I think it was on Trey Alexander. And, you know, that allowed us to keep an eight-point lead and push it back up to double figures uh, with some free throws down the stretch. Um, but, yeah, that, those are huge momentum-changing plays. When you can step in and take a charge, it pumps up your uh, bench, it pumps up your, your fans. And, you know, we took four of them against Indiana and, uh, and had several of them again the other night. So that's, that's something we really have stressed with our team. Uh, you know, put a premium on it. Our guys have bought into it. Something in the chat room wants to know, was that foul call, is that a reviewable call at all or not? No, it's not a reviewable play, unfortunately. It's, it's um, you know, it really the last two minutes, it's an out-of-bounds play. That, that's, what, that's what they can review, and, and actually a goal 10 and a charge. In fact, they reviewed Derek's charge at Creighton to make sure that he was out of the restricted area. Very good. Keep them coming, folks. Text calls 402-413-2400. It's our Sports Highly Hotline brought to you by Woodhouse, where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com. Anytime, 18 brands and a huge selection of pre-owned. You can always find what you're looking for with Woodhouse. More of the coach coming up next. It's the Ford Shine Bright sales event, and Ford is helping you be a light for others this holiday season. Right now, get special offers on select Ford trucks and SUVs. Come in and choose a vehicle in stock, or simply place a custom order, lock in your rate, and you're protected. Hurry in to your local Ford dealer today and find the Ford vehicle that helps you shine bright all season long. Not all models, trims, or features may be available or may be subject to change. Can you name one thing that's more exciting than football in Nebraska? Okay, maybe not. But there's something that comes close. Scratch tickets from the Nebraska Lottery. That's right. Choose from a variety of play styles with huge top prizes. There's something fun for everyone. So, when football isn't on, pick up some scratch tickets from the Nebraska Lottery. Play is good. Go play. Odds vary by game. Triple B Feed has the products to help your cows thrive. Whether it's weekly delivery of consumption-controlled Lumix liquid minerals with protein or Redmond natural mineral salt for livestock or humans, Triple B has you covered. Let Brian and Brad Blahorn take some of the stress out of your beef production this year. For more information and other products, visit TripleBFeed.com. Triple B Feed, helping you and your cattle. <coughs> The name on the mailbox may say Smith, Myers, Baumgartner, or Johnson, but when you choose to plant with Rob Seco, it includes your name too, making you a stockholder in a company that's invested in you. With the simplicity that makes us easy to do business with, relationships that bring more to the table, 
the technology, traits, and genetics that take on local conditions and people with the know-how to use it. At Rob Seco, the only stockholder we listen to is you. Tomanaga with eight on the shot clock over to Wiltshire, seven, high post. It's Walker, drives in on Edie again, throws it up, and in! The first lead of the game! Derek Walker gives Nebraska a 58-57 lead. Hey, Huskers fans, tomorrow, join us for Sports Nightly as Nebraska Athletic Director Trev Alberts hosts the Nebraska AD Show at 6 p.m. Tune in to your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red! Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. It's more powerful than the legendary Husker option offense. More powerful than the black shirt defense. It's the sun, and you can harness its power with JTEC Solar. JTEC, the official solar energy experts of the Huskers, can help you shrink your energy bills and start saving money now. Solar power is clean, affordable, and it's dependable because the sun always shines on the Huskers. JTEC Solar for your home, business, or agriculture energy needs. Visit JTECSolar.com. As the Huskers head to halftime, Frank is off the couch and headed for the fridge. Ooh, but he can't make it because he is so cold. The furnace is out again. SOS, he screams, and calls SOS Heating and Cooling, his favorite Luxair dealer trusted since 1950. With Luxair, you get a free 10-year labor warranty with a new system. SOS Heating and Cooling. SOS to the rescue. SOS, SOS. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. Dear gas prices, go take a hike. Toyota is the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years. The Toyota Hybrid lineup brings efficiency with power, savings with style, and top-notch tech to keep you connected. Not to mention plush premium interiors and the most advanced Toyota safety features. So, now you know who you're talking to. Toyota, the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years. Toyota. The brand with a hybrid or electric vehicle for every driver. Toyota, the brand that helps save you money at the pump. Now, let me ask you a question, dear gas prices. You really think you can stand in the way of the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years? <laughs> Think again. Toyota Hybrids. Find yours at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Based on manufacturer estimates, CY2000 through 2021 sales. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall and Zone 6 in Exarbon Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Row townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. Bang and Tyler Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest's premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. The coach with us for a couple more minutes. Huskers will be off until Saturday. You play K-State. This is game two of a three-game series. You had them here last year. They're a lot different. We're a lot different than those teams that played 12 months ago. Yeah, they're, yeah, for, for sure. And, you know, I'm, I'm really impressed with that team. Jerome Tang coming in in his first year, and he really got some high-impact transfers. And Keontae Johnson has been a heck of a player. It's a great story. He, he was a player that had uh, went into cardiac arrest in a game at Florida. First play of the game, they threw a lob up to him, and then he collapsed and fell and was in a coma uh, for about a week. But, you know, heck of a story that the kids get the opportunity to come back and play now, uh, you know, after what he went through. And that certainly, you know, is, is something that I resonate very closely with from my 
uh, you know, history with heart disease, and you know that forced me away from the game, and I didn't get another t opportunity to play, uh, you know, just based on everything I went through. So it's good to see him back on the floor, but he's he's an absolute load. He's six about six five with a uh, almost seven foot wingspan and can shoot it from all over. He's tough, he's physical, and he's an incredible athlete. So he's averaging almost 18 a game for them, leads them. Uh, you know, their point guard, Newell, is, is having a heck of a year as well and uh, really quick up and down the floor. It's going to be a big transition game for us. Have to get back, and again, we have to handle their pressure. I looked up one point late in the game Saturday. He had six turnovers. I think he ended up with a couple more than that. That's really good against a, a team like Purdue. Yeah, and, they, and that's what they do. They get up and hound you and pressure you and run through passing lanes. And I thought we handled that very well. And that, that's going to be huge for us, not only this next game against K-State, but all year. You have to take care of the ball. Uh, you have to get opportunities to put up, uh, you know, at least get a, a quality shot up on the rim, uh, give yourself a chance to go get it, which we did. We had 19 offensive rebounds in a game we didn't shoot the ball well. Um, um, but yeah, taking care of the ball is, is so important. Sam had one in 30, almost 38 minutes. Yeah. He's really done a nice. And that's probably not naturally the, his position. I know he's played it the last two years. Yeah, I, think, I mean, but... he came into this thing as a four, is what, what he started at at, um, at North Dakota State. And just because of need and, and where we are right now, and, you know, I think they had an injury, is, is how he was, you know, kind of thrust into that point guard position. But he, he's, he's learned a lot. I mean, early on, you could see it. He, he hadn't faced the type of athlete that we played early. Uh, he had a lot of turnovers in Orlando, but he's really, uh, you know, learned from it. And he studies uh, film. He, 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 he's, a, he's a student of the game. And, you know, I'm really proud of him for how he is taking much better care of the basketball right now. K-State Saturday, then Queens College next week. And again, folks, that is not part of your season ticket plan. You've got to go buy those separately from the Pinnacle Bank Arena ticket office. You can do it online at ticketmaster.com. And then you get a little bit of a break. Guys get to go home for just a, probably a few days because then you're right back to play Iowa right after Christmas. Yeah, we're actually going to practice on the night of Christmas. We're going to uh, come back and get them back on the 25th, have a good workout, and then we'll have probably a two-a-day that, uh, that next day and then 27th come in at least once and then have an uh, opportunity to come in and watch film have the last day of prep and then you know back at it with Big Ten play. What's your take on the conference? I think it's really good. It hasn't changed. <laughs> it has not changed. Has it? No, it's it just you think there might be a couple teams down and they just you know they just reload so well and yeah it's you, you just look at everybody and you know these games Iowa Wisconsin last night was an incredible game what I was doing right now without Murray. Uh, you know, they really put it on Iowa State uh, the game before that when, uh, you know, they found out Murray wasn't going to play. So it, it is. It's just top to bottom once again, you know, as good as any, any league in the country. And the league has done, didn't do so. We lost the challenge to the ACC, but I still think there's been enough quality wins that the league RPI is in pretty good shape. Yeah, no, no doubt about it. And, um, you know, again, you look at even Northwestern going into Michigan State yeah. and getting a big win. So Penn State yeah. won at Illinois. Penn State at Illinois. I mean, it's just, yeah. Uh, every night, every night it's going to be a battle. All right, um, shorten the bench a little bit in the second half, and that's because I think your starters didn't want to come out of the game. They felt that thing. Well, it, it just, that's kind of how it was. The flow of the game a lot of times dictates the substitutions, and we had a week off. That was another thing that, in my mind, our guys were going to have plenty of time to recover before the next game. So, you know, if we would have played two days later like we had in the other uh, two games, then it may have been a different story. But, you know, those guys were out there. They had a great rhythm going, and we did shorten it. And that's just how it goes sometimes. But our guys were great. Uh, you looked at the positive uh, energy on the bench, and those guys were phenomenal trying to, you know, will our, our kids that were out on the floor to a win. And that's what it's all about, you know, going out there, accepting the role that's given, only worrying about what you can control. We talk a lot with our team about that. And, uh, and those guys were awesome. Yeah, I was going to mention that because I was watching the body language of some of those guys. Like Wilhelm did, I don't think he got in the second half, but he was on his feet cheering those guys and really rooting them all. I think everybody knew that could have been just a huge, huge win for this team. But also, I think, prove to your guys we can win these games. Yeah, I mean, if, uh, listen, we, we going into last week, you start out the week at Creighton, then you go to Indiana, and you finish off the week with Purdue all in six days. So we knew we had a hell of a task in front of us but you know to get that first one was huge it would have just capped us such an amazing week had we found out a way to get it but yeah. we didn't we're going to learn from it and uh, hopefully get it the next time it happens i right, keep it rolling have a good week and go get the cats yeah sounds good thanks greg right, fred yep. hoiberg with us here on uh, our basketball show jessica's going to join me next we're going to hear from the strength and conditioning coach for the husker basketball team that's coming up next
At Nebraska, our people will always be our greatest asset. Day by day, donors give our teams the best opportunity to compete and win through their generous donations. Our vision for the future is ambitious and requires help from those who want to see Husker athletics excel at the highest level. Go big and join thousands of other Huskers Athletic Fund members with your gift today at huskers.com slash donate. Does your business need quick, competitive financing for heavy machinery, trucks, or other equipment? Currency is here to help. Whether you're financing construction equipment, farm equipment, trucks, trailers, or any other big ticket item, Currency will automatically find the best rates. Currency facilitates loans for up to $500,000 with repayment terms up to 72 months. It's fast, easy, and free to use. Visit GoCurrency.com and apply today. There's a call on the field for a quality seed specific to where you farm. Make the right call with Prairie Valley. With local research in eight regions throughout Nebraska, Prairie Valley performs with their locally specific hybrids and varieties while achieving the highest quality and yield. No matter where you farm in Nebraska, Prairie Valley has the seed for where you are. Find a local dealer and learn more about the seed for where you are at prairievalleyseeds.com. More Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic care first. Studies show that chiropractic is safe, drug-free, and the most effective treatment option for back, neck, and joint pain. It can also help patients of all ages reduce migraines, improve mobility, and maximize athletic performance. Keep the entire family healthy and active with natural, cost-effective chiropractic care. Find a chiropractic physician near you at nebraskachiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. There is no place like Nebraska, and there is no place that treats you like your home like Sap Brothers. For over 50 years, Sap Brothers has fueled America's heartland and has been a reliable partner to local farms, businesses, and Huskers fans across Nebraska, providing the highest quality fuel, lubricants, and propane, servicing your farming equipment, and welcoming guests into our travel centers. Visit www.sapbros.net. Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Huskers Athletics. Cornoyer throws to a screen and roll. Cat Wheeler blocked. Markowski blocked it. She's doing it all. Widener throws it ahead. Maddie Kroll didn't get her feet set correctly. Out to Moriarty for three. You betcha. Off the assist of Maddie Kroll. Kalo's on fire. That's a career high third triple. Hey, Huskers fans, this Wednesday, join us for Sports Nightly as head coach Amy Williams hosts the Nebraska Women's Basketball Show at 7 p.m. Tune into your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red. Nebraska 811 says go dig red before you dig. Always call or click 811 to have your utility lines marked. It's free. It's easy. It's the law. Greg Sharp joined by Jessica Cootie. Final segment of our men's basketball hour. Fred Hoiberg was here for the first couple of segments. Man, what so close. My goodness. And you look at some of the final numbers. I was just telling you before we came back on. Huskers shoot under 32% and darn near beat a top five team. It shouldn't really happen that way. Well, and also, P.J. Wiltshire goes over from the three-foot line, doesn't score, and he's coming off a, a performance where he scored, what, 20-something points at Indiana, right? 22, career high. And then um, Sam Griesel is not 100%, but boy, he fought so hard. And he made some big-time plays he, when not scoring the basketball, but again, that's a guy that typically scores. So you have two guys that usually score at least close to double figures, and they don't really contribute that much on that, and, and you're still right there in it and with the shots winning in overtime. I think that's a pretty good performance. And it also is a huge um, nod to the performance that the Huskers did on the defensive end, the fact that they can not have their best offensive night and still be right there in that thing with a chance to win it. Wilcher and Sam go combined two for 20. Yeah, just not ideal. And, Considering that those are two guys that normally you can count on yeah. to get into the score sheet and contribute in big ways. Well, and they, they still did other things. Like CJ barely left the floor, and he yeah. did other things well. And you know, you still, regardless with CJ, if he's shooting it well or not, you have to always guard him that he is going to because he's shown his capability to be able to do that. So they still, you know, he still is going to contribute in other ways, but normally he knocks down more than uh, the zero that he had on his on his sheet. 
when we Saturday. when we talk on Sports Island about strength and conditioning, we always kind of associate that with football, but it's a huge part of basketball as well. And you've had a chance earlier today to talk to the strength and conditioning coach uh, for the Huskers. Yes. Yeah, so had a chance to chat with uh, Kurt Joseph and had a long conversation with him. Here is that uh, here is that conversation with him. background you just came from the NBA you spent some time in the NBA but how did you get to know Fred Hoiberg and know that you wanted to be a part of his staff here at Nebraska uh, that's a good question I um, so I as you said I, I spent some time in the NBA I was fortunate to work with um, three separate teams in different capacities either at the internship level part-time um, assistant strength coach and um, I've had some head experience with uh, the G League team um, um, overall, uh, after the bubble was done um, with the G League, um, I got a call from Coach Fred, and he was extremely forthcoming about um, his interest in me um, directing um, the strength and conditioning aspect of the team. Um, he gives me free reign, and he gives me f uh, full trust um, as I'm more of a holistic thinker. So it's not just... Uh, when people hear strength and conditioning coach, they tend to hear uh, he's a weight room guy, he's a fitness trainer, et cetera, et cetera. But uh, I definitely approach it um, more holistically. And I think that is what caught his attention the most and um, what he actually agrees with from a coaching philosophy standpoint. So we, we ended up hooking up through uh, his relationship with Ryan Saunders. Um, Ryan Saunders was the head coach of the Timberwolves when I was there, when I was an assistant strength coach. So because you have a history with the NBA, and how much does that help you get guys to buy in? And, and a guy like Bryce McGowan's who, hey, I've just been there. I know what it takes. I know what your body needs to be like in order to be able to compete at that level. Because let's face it, a lot of these kids that come in, that's their dreams and goals is to get to that level to play professional basketball. So how much does that help these kids buy in to what? what you want to teach them day in and day out? I think, I think they buy in when they figure out how genuine your energy is um, because genuine energy undergirds passion and then passion undergirds consistency and then consistency um, leads to success. And it all starts with genuine energy. So yes, I do have MBA experience and yes, they do buy in more so with me in comparison to other coaches who may or may not have as much experience or experience at all. But if my energy wasn't genuine about what I'm talking about, if I wasn't as passionate about it, and if I wasn't as consistent in showing them the exercises and even jumping in the workouts with them, or by the time they walk in the gym, I'm already drenched with sweat because I'm already working out myself. <clears throat> I think all of that plays a significant role in them buying in to what I'm saying. And <clears throat> honestly, having the experience in the NBA, um, I think um, it, it definitely opens the door in how much they do listen to you. So I'm not trying to say that that's not significant, right? Like right. I've done combines and I've had to analyze hundreds of players. Um, I've sat in those rooms and made decisions throughout the season and I know what decision fatigue feels like and I understand scheduling in the NBA so I can also speak to that aspect as well as the um, the assessment aspect of, of what certain GMs would ask for um, what teams are looking for how you fit within specific um, teams um, with your talent level or, or in comparison to what your potential of your talent level could be and, and how important that is to specific teams. So um, <clears throat> it definitely does help, for sure, for sure. But I, I think for college kids to buy into you, they, they, they want to be able to relate to you as a person. Right. And they want to know that you're human and they want to know that you care about them overall, not just basketball I think they want to push themselves harder because I can call them out um, in a respectful way um, I am from Brooklyn New York so sometimes it comes off a little bit abrasive however 
it's just to get them better and they know that I have true intentions on 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 actualizing their potential. Yeah, so. and I think on that note a little bit is is Bryce McGowan gets drafted. Right. He could work out anywhere he wants and he wants to come back here and, and work out with you. And I know this program has an open door policy too with Coach Hoiberg of, of getting former players back and they want them around the program. What does that say about, you know, again, just this program and, and that they want guys to be able to come back and hey, I mean, even um, Isaiah Roby had told me that he didn't even play for Fred Hoiberg and Fred Hoiberg's like, hey, come back anytime you want. I mean, how important is that for a program to have that open door policy for these guys that have gone on and are doing other things? I think Coach does a tremendous job in, in being um, not just a, a, an X and O coach, and you know everybody talks about his genius as far as X and O's, and then when you're a genius in specific things, people tend to try to take the human element out of you. But I think. One of the most underestimated parts of him is his personhood and how, um, how, how much he listens to you. I mean, there's been things that I've told him months ago that he'll come back later, months later, and say, oh, how is this and how is that? And you don't necessarily know he, he's paying attention to all those things. And I think that's what adds to an open-door policy, right? Like, it makes players want to come back because it, you didn't just – give me transactional energy like okay you play for me and then leave get out of here that that's not how coach operates um and because i'm a part of um the staff and and you know we have to have uh the same sound um it, it doesn't it's not forced from my end because i believe in that too right like if you want to come back and get your work in you're not just working with a NCA strength and conditioning coach not that that's not all you need you do you get the you know you get the best of both worlds like I've I've played on the collegiate level now I'm a strength and conditioning coach on this level but I also was a strength coach at the NBA level so I would know I would be able to streamline training faster because I would I, I remember when when I was there what I was looking for in specific players and the information that I relay to head coach, assistant coach, player development coach, the physical therapist, the, uh, the GM, or, or front office. Because um, you have to understand, the faster you get the information is the faster it can dictate what the people with the money do to draft whoever player. So our part in the combine is extremely essential. I mean, sometimes we'll be there with books of information on everybody, and this is what I explained to Bryce. Um, when he did come back, it was like, they're looking for these specific metrics. And, um, you know, you have to fully buy into this process. And, and, and it, beyond the basketball portion is you have to show how much you actually love the game, right? Because you only have a short window of playing, you know? Like, your lifespan is here, but your playing lifespan is about here. How do you actualize this part of your life the best way you possibly can to set you up for your entire life. And every single rep you do is crucial. Every single decision you make is crucial. And every, every way how you uh, pour into interpersonal relationships and your own relationship with self is crucial to making it. So understanding that and embodying that is two different things. And a lot of players understand it, but they don't embody it. He was impressive. It was a fascinating conversation that we got to have. And, and I know Coach Hoiberg is really high on him. The players absolutely adore him. And that was just a, a small portion of the full conversation that we had. We're planning on uh, putting that out on our podcast platform so you can hear that full conversation with Kurt Joseph. I'm glad you brought up Bryce because Br Bryce raved about him and came yeah. back and did more workouts with him even before he jumped fully to the Charlotte Hornets. You might could say Bryce, because there was a point in time, you know, he came in as a five-star with a lot of expectations, and then I think probably his draft stock kind of dropped. I think Kurt Joseph was a big part in him getting that back up and yep. getting him drafted in the long run and really getting to a good spot where he could go to a team and have an impact right away. Bryce developed his body during last season. That's yeah. hard to do. Yeah, and we really dove into that, and it was like, and he said that, how challenging it yeah. was, because he's playing the whole game, right. and having to, there's a lot on your body that, that that requires so yeah it was a challenge for sure huskers and k-state wildcats playing at t-mobile arena down in kansas city saturday six o'clock five o'clock pre-game coverage 
here on the Oscars Radio Network. And again, next Tuesday's game with Queens College at PBA, not part of the season ticket package. You'll need to buy those through the Arena Box Office or Ticketmaster. Folks, buckle up with the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office, another hour of Sports Highlight on the other side. Come on back. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Want to get all the latest Husker news straight to your phone? Need to be the first of your friends to get the scoop on all things Huskers? Sign up for text alerts from Nebraska Athletics. Text Huskers to 83200 to get game time notifications and updates, breaking news, special ticket offers, and more straight to your phone. All the Husker news is just a quick text away. Just text Huskers to 83200. Standard text messaging rates apply and may vary by carrier. It's more powerful than the legendary Husker option offense. More powerful than the black shirt defense. It's the sun, and you can harness its power with JTEC Solar. JTEC, the official solar energy experts of the Huskers, can help you shrink your energy bills and start saving money now. Solar power is clean, affordable, and it's dependable because the sun always shines on the Huskers. JTEC Solar for your home, business, or agriculture energy needs. Visit JTECSolar.com. Shop Woodhouse Buick GMC first for your next SUV and experience the difference. We offer a full lineup of SUVs so you can find the one that best suits you and your lifestyle. The GMC Terrain and Acadia offer the perfect blend of tech and safety on the road. Or discover the style, comfort, and cargo space of the Buick Enclave. Plus, we make it easy to shop, finance, and purchase in-store or online at WoodhouseBuickGMC.com. We are professional grade. Farmers Mutual of Nebraska is proud to support Husker Athletics. Having a competent teammate beside you makes all the difference when it comes to protecting what matters most. With a proven track record of dependable coverage, unmatched financial strength, and a prompt claim service team right here in Nebraska, that's insurance kept local. Visit FMNE.com to contact an agent for a quote today. Farmers Mutual of Nebraska, always alongside you.
with the GoCurrency.com sports ticker. I'm Tim Mulhelped on the Huskers radio network. Happy Monday, Huskers fans. Welcome into Hour 2 of Sports Nightly. We start with Huskers news. Jazz Shelley earned a place on the Big Ten's weekly honor roll, coming off a strong week in two wins. Shelley averaged 23 points, four rebounds, five assists, a field goal percentage of 54.5, and a, half, and a three-point percentage of 56.2. Elsewhere in college sports news today, Mississippi State head coach Mike Leach remains hospitalized and in critical condition per statement put out by the school this morning. The university referred to Leach's hospitalization as a personal health issue and reports have indicated Leach suffered a severe heart attack. Our thoughts go out to Leach, his family, and are wishing him a speedy recovery. In men's college basketball, Texas head coach Chris Beard has been suspended without pay until further noticed by Texas after being arrested this morning on third degree charges of assault relating to domestic violence. Associate head coach Rodney Terry will serve as the interim in his place. They are playing right now, just tipped off against Rice. Rice comes out quickly now when they're up six to two down in Austin. In women's college basketball tonight, just one Big Ten game on a Chicago State. will try to earn their first win of the year against the Minnesota Golden Gophers. That one's 5-0 Minnesota, two minutes into play. In pro sports today, in Major League Baseball, the Braves, A's, and Brewers completed a three-team trade that saw nine players on the move. The headline player involved was gold glove catcher Sean Murphy, who heads from the A's to the Braves coming off a season in which he did receive a single vote in MVP voting. And in the NFL, Monday Night Football gets started in just about, I'd say call it five, six minutes here, as the Patriots are in Glendale, Arizona, to take on the Arizona Cardinals. This update is presented by Currency. Currency makes financing quick, easy, and secure for heavy machinery, ag equipment, trucks, trailers, and more. Visit GoCurrency dot com for details that's the ticker i'm tim mulhelped and hour two of sports nightly is next on the huskers radio network coming to you live from memorial stadium it's sports nightly all the huskers all the time sports nightly is presented by the ndot highway safety office who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down the kick out jenkins touch pass morton three ball no into the hands of gary down the floor to tomaga tomaga puts it up got it Moment at 6'5", can't get the Holy rebound. Cow. Markowski gets her 11th rebound. She is going crazy on the boards. Jazz Shelley, out to Markowski. Top of the key, three, you! That's you! It's a three, Kowski for Alexa, and it forces a timeout by Sanford. Greasel on the right sideline, starts in, cut off. Tomanaga, three ball on the way. Bang! 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 Tomanaga! This puppy at 56. Here's a pass to the left side. Allison Widener catches it, shoots a three. You betcha. Off the assist from Maddie Kroll. Allison Widener has 50. High post. It's Walker. Drives in on Edie again. Throws it up. And in the first lead of the game. Derek Walker gives Nebraska a 58 57 lead. At Diamond Pressure, Jazz Shelley for three on the right wing. You betcha. Jazz with a Central Valley Egg 3. Here is your host, Jessica Cootie, on the Huskers Radio Network. And hey, welcome back. Hour number two, Sports Island. Hope you enjoyed last hour. Had the head basketball coach in here for the, that hour. And also heard from the strength coach. Huskers get the week off. Everybody gets the week off. It's finals week going on here on campus. Uh, and so no athletic competitions are allowed. You can make an exception. And they would have made... In exception, at volleyball made the Final Four, but uh, you have by university policies. It's not Big Ten; it's university policies. Uh, no, no game. So, Oscar basketball. The, the men will play Saturday in Kansas City against K State. The women will play Sunday against Wyoming, who's not bad. The Cowboys are cowgirls are not bad. And then the Jayhawks are here next week to play the women, and they got ranked today for the first time in nine years. Yeah, I know Brenda Van Langen, who's a friend of the show, and, and obviously people around here really know her really well. She calls a lot of Kansas games, and she's been very complimentary of them. And well, they were in not a good place a few years ago, right. but they've been able to turn some things around, and they played some good basketball a year ago. They were, I think they were, did they make it, or were they one of the, they were right there, almost got in or got in at the end. They were either the first four in or the last State four out. I made it last year. I don't know that KU did. So, um, but they're, it's good basketball. 
basketball team. So yeah, it's a good challenge, and that uh, we've been hearing about that all along, and that this is not uh, a cakewalk of a non-conference schedule for Nebraska women's basketball, and they're going to be uh, tested and, and ready to go. I just hope they're not too beat up by the time they get to Big Ten play. And um, you know, they figured some things out when on the win against Samford, but. Um, they did not look very good in the first half, obviously, but I, I, they looked a lot better in the second half. And, and I think it's hopefully Izzy is not out for the long haul. Yeah. I know she's day to day, but I, I hope she's back soon because I think that's going to hurt this team if she's not back. Oh, my app was broken. Kept going. Come on, that can't be the score. 16 <laughs> to 15 at halftime. I'm like, what's going on here? Yeah, the, the graphics guy <laughs> yeah, had it wrong. Somebody went to sleep. <laughs> um, hey, what a weekend for football. They picked up a couple of commitments. A couple of those trickled in today. They had a busy, busy week. They ended up having 18 young men come in over the weekend. One came Thursday, left Friday. Then the other 17 were here over the weekend. You met a handful of them, and you really liked what you saw from the energy from some of the new guys on the staff. If I would have been there as a recruit, I probably would have committed to. You know, I mean, it was just the way that you felt, the energy, and it was so well planned out. And again, you have to keep in mind, too, that this staff is just now getting assembled. They don't know what's going on around here. They barely know probably where their office is or who to go to for certain situations and certain things that you may need to assemble a type of weekend like this. The recruiting staff that's been here hasn't been with this staff. So, I mean, I talked to a few of them. I was like, I was very impressed with how well they put the weekend together given that you're you're meshing together two different staffs that haven't worked together much and, and haven't been here together and so it was so well done the way that they they put everything together and they got another one coming up this weekend but the stations that they had and then you know, shout out, kudos to Husker Nation, not only for the support that they showed the men's basketball team on Saturday, but when Matt Roll came out there at halftime, and for those recruits to see the way that this Hus this fan base got behind that basketball team, that, how many times have we heard head coaches of every sport say, you just got to get them here and get them to an athletic event, and they see the support that is just really unmatched, and that was a massive selling point. I got to imagine for some of these kids <clears throat> to come in, and see how loud and rocking PBA was on Saturday because they were all there. They were all there. They saw how how into the game that Husker Nation was. And boy, I Coach Rural, that was his first kind of public appearance in front of the masses. He obviously had the press conference two weeks ago, but that's the first time that he was able to get in front of a huge Husker audience. And he wowed him. He wowed yeah. him. He says, "We are on a mission to turn this thing around." He knows how to perform like that, and that's you know that doesn't. Hey, I, I get it. Before everybody starts texting me, I get it. It doesn't equate to wins, but it kind of does at other I, places. I think <laughs> I think that message will resonate with prospective student athletes and the fan base, and that's a hard thing to to narrow through. But he does a nice job. He kind of raises up to that because when you talk to him, kind of off to the side, he's not really that way. But he, there's a switch he can flip to do that. He was really impressive in just the three or four minutes that he talked to the crowd there. Yeah, again, and I, I have a, a scout friend that was in the NFL that said he's never, ever seen a head coach that gets people to buy in and believe like Matt Rule does. And so, yeah, I mean, he's unbelievable with the mic, as we've seen, and it's a, it's a part of it, right? Is He knew that there were recruits up there and that, you know, what he was selling was not just a message to Husker Nation. It was also to those potential players sure. that are going to come in here and help him on that mission. And so, yeah, he uh, definitely knows what he's doing in that regard, and it was electric. And, I mean, you can just tell, too, the, the buy-in from his staff that have come with him here too chatted with a few of them also on Friday night and um, again I think they're going to be able to, to sell a lot of different guys to come play for them but then also you, you got to get them to buy in and believe when they get here and and a lot of that is about the development part and I think that's we, we've heard Trev say that we've heard Matt Rule say that I mean that's a big part of what this program is going to be a developmental program and you got to get kids that, that want to come in here and be developed and so um, I was really blown away by a lot of different things over the weekend um, in terms of the recruiting part of it, the the actual event, the kids that were there, a lot of them that were there, and then the, the staff, but then also the way that Husker Nation showed up and did their part on Saturday too. Husker's up to 13 commits in the class. Now remember, you can, everybody gets nervous if you're not close to 25, but remember now in the era of the portal, you want to save some back for the portal. So. Yeah, 13 is where they sit here with about two weeks to go. Two weeks from Wednesday is the actual signing day, the 21st. They'll have another full weekend coming up. 
And I haven't heard a number yet. Have you heard a number for how many are coming this week? I have not heard a number yet on no, this No, I, I haven't heard. Maybe would, still coming in, too. I would think it's close to what we had last week. Well, maybe. There's, okay, so here, here's the rule that I was told. So you, there's a certain number of officials that you can have, but the numbers of the kids that are coming back on their second official visit don't count. So you could technically have Way, yeah. more than what you're actually allowed. 18, maybe, might be the official visit number, but again, those kids that are coming back, because this is a new coaching staff don't count against you. Which so is, there could be, you know, 30 uh, official visits between the, these a couple of weekends. Which, uh, terrific rule. I said this last week. Terrific. Finally, the NCAA got something right here. When you change staffs, the kids who have been committed should be able to come back and take another visit without being penalized for that. So 18 last weekend. We'll track it. It probably will vary. It will probably change from day to day until we actually get here on campus. So we'll keep monitoring that. But a, a good weekend. And I think, you know, the weather was pretty good. That doesn't hurt. But we had good weather. The kids were here. Yeah, it was. Except I was talking to one of the parents that were from um, – up north and i was saying so you you guys are used to this kind of weather they're like oh yeah this is this is nothing for well, us san diego weather right here <laughs> right here uh, i was like I, I did i said that i was like this is like a heat wave <laughs> so i left the basketball game went home and flipped on the volleyball regional finals and the first one up was louisville oregon and I started getting sick to my stomach because when I walked in, it was 2-1 Oregon. They led, and then they had a match point. I'm like, this is really going to hurt if Oregon wins this match after the Huskers had those four match points. Uh, we did learn that Ani Evans has entered the transfer portal over the weekend. She had a great explanation, Jessica. She says, I'm graduating in May. I want to get my master's degree. Unfortunately, UNL does not have that curriculum, so I'm going to go somewhere that does so I can get my master's and continue playing volleyball. I don't think anybody will think anything bad about Ani Evans for making that decision. No, absolutely not. She's been the ultimate team player. You could tell when she was awarded that scholarship how that team reacted. You don't always get that reaction. This team adores her. She loves being a Husker. I mean, she they nicknamed her Bob. Her family did because of how much she loved being... The Bob. <laughs> she wanted to play in the Bob. Yeah. So, you know, she's a Husker through and through, but you have to also appreciate the fact that that's a student athlete realizing that there are things beyond being an athlete and she has to prepare herself for that and kudos to her for for because I, I gotta imagine it was not an easy decision for her to do that and so for her to realize hey I, I gotta set myself up and try to get myself ready and and I gotta imagine too what she's done here has set her up to still get a scholarship because I know she's a walk-on got a scholarship she probably has done enough because somebody, she'd be a really good center for a program somewhere. Absolutely. Absolutely. There will be some roster movement. There always is. Uh, we're going to have Lauren Cook West on with us tomorrow night in hour number two of the program just to kind of get her final thoughts on this team and what's ahead for Husker Volleyball. So looking forward to chatting with Lauren tomorrow night here on the program. Also, programming note, tomorrow, hour one, it's our monthly sit down with Athletic Director Trev Albert. So he will be in here. It's the first time we'll have had him in here since the announcement of Matt Rule as Nebraska's football coach. So looking forward to having Trev in here tomorrow night. So get your comments, questions ready for Mr. Alberts tomorrow night here in hour number one. We have five full shows this week, Jessica. I don't think we've done that since mid-August, maybe? I don't know what to do with myself. I also think it's funny you said Mr. Alberts because it... it sent me back to a time i can't remember where it was but one of the football players was calling him coach alberts hey coach alberts how you doing i think we should start calling him coach alberts i think i don't know how you would think if he'd like that or not i don't know we can ask you if, we, if he likes that or not uh, i so, think it's just like kind of endearing that the player was just like coach alberts how you doing yeah. you know just because i mean not that coach he tries to come in and coach but just that it's kind of was when you're a kid a lot of the, your figures like that seem like coaches but yeah i i was thinking that too i was sitting here when you introed and i'm like god we're gonna be here every night this week i don't know how that works it's been a while since we've been in every single night of the week that's it, but that's what finals week happens and so we will we'll, we'll uh, be loaded up with stuff for you throughout the week here of covering husker sports all right 402-413-2400 the number to be a part of the program with a call or a text that is our sports nightly hotline brought to you by woodhouse where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com anytime 18 brands and a huge selection of pre-owned you can always find what you are looking for with woodhouse all right coming up here in a few minutes dirk chatlin of the omaha world herald he wrote an unbelievably good piece about uh it was an open letter to matt rural the day that matt was announced here in Lincoln as the new head coach about some thoughts he has about that. Also, Dirk has plenty of thoughts about Husker basketball, volleyball, all of that. We'll get into that with Dirk coming up next.
A DUI is everything you didn't prepare for. You did not save for it. You did not train for it. You did not go to school for it. You did not raise your family or buy a house or get a job for it. It is not your life goal or a dream come true. You have planned for everything in your life. You did not plan for a DUI. Get a ride. A DUI costs more than you think. Brought to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. It's time again for some Nebraska farm facts. For Nebraska soybean farmers, sustainability is a way of life. 97% of farms are family owned and 95% are participating in conservation programs and using sustainable practices. And they have significant sustainability goals by 2025. 10% more energy efficiency, 10% less land, and 25% less soil erosion. This message is brought to you by Nebraska soybean farmers. Growing opportunity from the ground up. It's the Ford Shine Bright sales event, and Ford is helping you be a light for others this holiday season. Right now, get special offers on select Ford trucks and SUVs. Come in and choose a vehicle in stock, or simply place a custom order, lock in your rate, and you're protected. Hurry in to your local Ford dealer today and find the Ford vehicle that helps you shine bright all season long. Not all models, trims, or features may be available or may be subject to change. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska exist to be there with you. They are rooting for the schools and teachers who make our communities great. That's why Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska is proud to sponsor Touchdowns for Teachers and ask Husker fans to nominate outstanding educators who help Nebraska students reach their potential. If there's a teacher you want to recognize for the impact they've made in your community, find a nomination form at huskers.com slash touchdowns for teachers. It's harvest special time, and you can save three dollars per foot or thirty-nine hundred dollars per quarter mile system now on a TNL pivot system. Pivots worked long hours this season, battling dry weather to save top-dollar corn and soybean crops. But did your pivots work like no other? If not, it's time to invest in a reliable, safe, low-maintenance TNL irrigation system. Hydrostatic drives move these durable workhorses continuously across fields. So get an irrigation system that works as hard as you do. Contact TNL Irrigation, your local TNL dealer, or visit us online at tlirr.com. TNL Irrigation Systems like no other. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Agriculture is the economic engine of the Midwest. At Acres Equipment, we dedicate ourselves to making that engine run smoothly. We supply our farmers and ranchers with quality John Deere equipment, parts, and service. We also deliver the most advanced technology and precision ag strategies to help them farm today and for the future. Acres Equipment, solutions for every field. Across the timeline to Tomonaga, back to Greasel. Greasel on the right sideline, starts in, cut off. Tomonaga, three ball on the way. Bang! Ba -ba -ba Bang! Bang! Tomonaga! This puppy at 56. Hey, Huskers fans, this Saturday, join us as Nebraska men's basketball battles Kansas State in Kansas City. Ken Pavelka and Jake Muehlheisen have the call at 5 p.m. Tune in to your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. While some seed companies put a greater stake in stock prices and anonymous shareholders, Rob Seco knows that what's important to you hits closer to home. That's why you'll find we're focused on your needs. With a simplicity that makes us easy to do business with, a relationship that makes it easy to connect with anyone in the company, and the technology, traits, and genetics you need from any source. Put your stock in the company that puts you first. Rob Seco. Farmers Mutual of Nebraska is proud to support Husker Athletics. Having a competent teammate beside you makes all the difference when it comes to protecting what matters most. With the proven track record of dependable coverage, unmatched financial strength, and a prompt claim service team right here in Nebraska, that's insurance kept local. 
visit FMNE.com to contact an agent for a quote today. Farmers Mutual of Nebraska, always alongside you. Hey, honey. Hey, Mom. How did Jordan's interview go? I'm not sure. Your brother isn't home yet. Oh, one sec. Someone's at the door. Are you Mrs. Lewis? Yes. Mrs. Lewis, I'm Officer Taylor. Your son was in a crash and has died. What? He wasn't wearing his seatbelt and was ejected from the vehicle. No. No. Someone is counting on you to buckle up. Brought to you by NDOT Highway Safety Office. Welcome back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres. Solutions for every field. Delighted to be joined tonight by the Omaha World Herald's Dirk Chatlin. It's been a while. I've not talked to Dirk in a while. Dirk, I, I, I'm sure, how you doing? You Everything okay? You got that Christmas shopping finished and ready for, for the big day in a few weeks? Well, I'm a little bit of a late bloomer on the Christmas shopping, Greg. I, I usually <laughs> don't get rolling until about uh, December 23rd, December 24th. So hopefully there's still some stuff in the stores by then. You and me both. That's kind of my plan, too. Uh, hit, hit, it, hit it late. Uh, I, I've not talked to you. I loved your open letter to Matt Rural that you dropped the day that he was introduced at the press conference here in Lincoln. Uh, what kind of reaction did you get? And for people that didn't read it, kind of lay out what you were what you were laying out there for the new football coach. Well, I was trying to sort of put in perspective, uh, maybe in two thousand words, uh, what makes Nebraska football so complex at this point in time. You know, it's a it's a program that that has so much tradition and so much pride and yet has been through so much turmoil at the same time. And those two things can be kind of confusing, I think, when you're looking at it from the outside. It's like, okay, why is there so much fuss about a program that, you know, hasn't been to a bowl game in six years? Uh, so I, I was trying to sort of lay out what made Nebraska special, this, this fan base that that has never abandoned the program. Uh, that success from 1962 to 2001 that was that was unparalleled uh, around the country. But I was also trying to sort of lay out, you know, it, or put in perspective, I guess, what what makes Nebraska, you know, difficult in these modern times. And uh, it's it's certainly not the job that it was 20 years ago. And and I think a lot of Nebraska's advantages have uh, have sort of disappeared. So it's a it's a tough job, but I think it's one of those jobs that if you can get it rolling, I, I can't imagine that there's that there's a more fun job in the country because I think the positive feedback will be so overwhelming, Greg, uh, if Nebraska can get this thing rolling again, that I, I think regardless of how much money you're making, uh, I just think it would be so much fun to be the head coach at Nebraska if they're winning again. How did he do that day, and how has he done in your eyes since that day? Well, first of all, I think it's so apparent uh, why Trev Alberts was attracted to this guy. I mean, he's, a, he's got a lot of polish. He's a, he's a messaging guy, a, a presenter, very persuasive in public. Uh, I think Nebraska needs a salesman. I think Trev was attracted to that. I think he he represents developmental football, uh, offensive and defensive line play, uh, starting from the, from scratch and sort of building up, which I think Nebraska needs right now. I joked with Trev uh, after the press conference. I said, Trev, did you hear the AFCA presentation that Matt Rule gave uh, a couple years ago? Uh, because it, it sounded like, you know, that might have been something you listened to during the interview process uh, that, that maybe attracted you to rule. And Trev said, no, I actually hadn't heard it. I, I didn't listen to it. Uh, and I found, I found that sort of ironic because it, it just it sounded almost like Rule was, was talking to Trev Alberts uh, three or four years ago when he was doing this speech. So those two guys hit it off. No big shock to me there. Uh, I like the hire. It checks a lot of boxes. I really wanted to see Nebraska hire someone who, who had been a Power 5 head coach. Uh, I thought that was an important characteristic. So uh, I thought that was, you know, a, a lot of good things there. You know, it, it's really interesting how Rule is a, is a little bit, uh, I don't want to say quirky, but sort of distinct, right? He's, he's kind of a guy who's been all over the country. He's coached almost every position group. So when he compiles a staff, you know, he's kind of got his hand in everything, which I think is really interesting. Uh, he's going to emphasize 
certain things uh, like offensive line play, for instance. When you go back and look at old videos, you know he's he's really a hands-on offensive line guy, which I think is is good. He's a former walk-on, so he should. Uh, he should appreciate, you know, that part of Nebraska's program. But again, he's also distinct in certain ways where like the, the young coaching staff, for instance, uh, he didn't go out and hire a bunch of guys who, uh, who had the, the finest track records in all of college football. He's, he's looking for guys who are, who are pretty young and up and coming and uh, guys who he might be able to kind of mentor, I think, and, and help sort of shape how they do things. Uh, his emphasis on speed, Greg, I think is really interesting. Uh, you know, Nebraska's first scholarship offer was a guy who didn't have any other, her first scholarship commitment under rule was a guy who didn't have any FBS offers anywhere, uh, which which is really interesting to me. You know, they're going after a couple other guys with, with the elite level speed that don't have a lot of, uh, you know, traditional football pedigree. So, uh, you know, I, I think there's a lot of things that make this intriguing. One thing that I, I think just I keep coming back to in this era of the portal, uh, how, what does a developmental program even look like? Because it just feels like everybody is after the quick fix right now. You know, even the programs that are, that are seemingly developmental, uh, they're not looking to turn it around in four or five years. They're trying to turn it around in, you know, two or three years. And uh, I, I'm just curious how this plays out with Rule, who clearly wants to sort of, you know, knock down the, the, the dilapidated house and build it up from scratch. But when, when, it's, when everybody else is turning it around so quick, look at TCU, for example, uh, you know, how much patience is Rule going to have? How much patience is Nebraska's fan base going to have? Because there are, there are portal guys knocking on your door every day saying, take me, take me. Uh, and Nebraska's going to have a lot of decisions to make about, you know, how slow do we want to actually ha have this process occur? Because I think if, if Rule really wanted to push it, you know, he could probably turn it around uh, or at least get a whole bunch of new faces in here right away. And I just wonder how you sort of walk that line between being a developmental program that takes prospects and builds them up over time and a program, you know, that utilizes the transfer portal uh, in Nebraska's uh, better than average NIL situation uh, and sort of, you know, taps into the mercenary market. I think that'll be really interesting to watch unfold over the next 18 months. Again, Dirk Chatelain with us in the Omaha World Herald. Go, if folks, go on the Omaha World Herald site and, and look for Dirk's open letter to, to Matt Rule as a thing of beauty that she put in there. You talk about the transfer portal and how big of an influence it is in college football. Dirk, I, I, can, I think we can take it one step further. The Final Four for volleyball is in Omaha this week. And go look at that rosters of those four teams. They went and raided some Big Ten schools, and there's no Big Ten team going to be in Omaha, unfortunately, for this Final Four. But it's certainly affected that sport uh, to a certain degree as well. It has. It's, uh, I think it has, uh, you know, it's, I think it's leveled the playing field. It's, it's maybe added some, uh, while, while programs like Nebraska certainly can utilize it, I think it's also opened some doors for other programs too. Uh, I think volleyball is, is in a pretty good place right now from a competitive standpoint. You, there's probably... I would guess, I don't know, 12 to 15 programs that probably entered this NCAA tournament with, with a realistic chance of making the Final Four. And I think that's a, that's a, a number that's higher than, than usual. The fact that the Big Ten didn't get anybody in is, a, is an absolute stunner to me. Uh, so it's, it's a pretty open playing field. I think Nebraska fans are going to have some, you know, some rooting interest. San Diego is a fun underdog story. Uh, Louisville with, with Danny Busboom, I think, is a, is, a, is a neat story. So I think there will be some rooting interest here in Omaha. But, but the sport is in a pretty good place right now. There's a lot of movement, a lot of transfers, but I think it has opened the door for some programs, you know, that maybe didn't have a chance otherwise. Yeah, both Pitt and, and San Diego have some, some Big Ten transfers on their rosters that have made a huge difference there. I still feel like it's an underappreciated sport, Dirk. And, I, you know, I, those, some of those matches last weekend were vi riveting, including Nebraska's loss to Oregon. I think you've penned a few pieces about that in the past. How, how do you look back at Nebraska's season now that it's in the books on the, on the, on the, on the, on the volleyball front? Well, first of all, let me let me comment on your first point, and that is, I think I think the sport keeps getting better all the time. Uh, I've beat my 
beat my head into the wall on this many times, and uh, I realize I'm preaching to the choir here in Nebraska, but but I just I feel like the the broadcast networks and the conferences need to do a better job promoting volleyball. Uh, I would love to see a national you know game of the week on ESPN, you know on a on a Friday night or something like that, where you get where you get a couple superpowers playing. I realize the Big Ten Network has taken the lead on it, but uh, I feel like the production value in the sport needs to improve. You just don't get, you don't capture right now on TV the sheer athleticism and, and sort of timing of, of everything that happens on the court. Uh, I feel like, you know, they got to find a better way to, to sell the sport. As for the Huskers, uh, I say this with the utmost respect because, uh, you know, we're talking about one of the great programs in all of college sports. But that was, uh, that was probably as frustrating a season as I can remember in, in the last, you know, 10 years for Nebraska volleyball. They had extremely high hopes. They had a ton of talent. They just never quite, you know, settled things at certain spots. I think sometimes you can almost have too many players, Greg. Uh, and I think Nebraska never quite found roles for, for some, uh, some of its players. Uh, the setting situation was in flux. Uh, you know, they've got, they've got a nice mix of young and old, but it never quite felt like, you know, some of those things got sorted out. So uh, I think it's a little bit of a back to the drawing board and, and try to, you know, reemphasize the fundamentals. Nebraska is recruiting at a level higher than it ever has. Uh, but but the, this year it didn't quite pan out on the court. So I'm sure uh, that'll stick in John Cook's craw this offseason. Yeah, I'm sure it maybe motivates them moving forward into 2023 as well. Dirk, there's there's some fun basketball happening here in Lincoln. That last week was quite a week for Fred Hoiberg's team. The upset of Creighton, they, did, they obviously were shorthanded against Indiana not having Sam. That was a heck of a game Saturday against Purdue. And now they're the number one team in the country. Your thoughts about what you've seen from the Huskers on the hardwood? Well, I joked today that uh, any team that beats Nebraska in Pinnacle Bank Arena immediately vaults to number one in the rankings. Uh, that's what Purdue did today. So, uh, you know, I think Nebraska, you know, performed very, very admirably over the last seven days, eight days. Uh, I think showed a lot of grit, a lot of heart. Frankly, they made a lot of fans that had sort of, you know, been dormant or, or had turned away from the program a little bit. I'm really impressed by how they have sort of taken on a new identity, a defensive identity. You know, they brought in three newcomers with Greasel, Vandemel, and Gary, who are long and hardworking and just kind of rugged athletes uh, who, who play their tails off. And those three guys have uh, combined with, you know, some of the guys who returned, like Derek Walker, have – have just kind of given this this program an edge. Uh, they play extremely hard, harder than they have the last few years. Uh, they don't have a lot of you know margin for error offensively, which is uh, a little bit different for a Fred Hoiberg team. But I think their defense keeps them in a lot of games and should the rest of the year. Having said that, Greg, boy, that was a tough one to let slip away on Saturday because you just don't get a lot of opportunities like that with a top five team on your home court. You know, having multiple shots to 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 tie or, or beat them there in the last couple minutes, uh, that was a tough one to swallow. And, and I don't know if Nebraska is going to have a lot of opportunities like that the rest of the year. Uh, but you know, if Hoiberg can kind of keep this this identity going, uh, the nice part about defense is it's portable. It travels. You should be able to take it on the road. Uh, and with the home crowd behind you, I think uh, Nebraska can be in a lot of games against teams with better records. So uh, a lot of encouraging signs. I think Nebraska's fan base has been waiting for a team like this uh, to, to sort of rally behind. And uh, I think Hoiberg has finally delivered in that regard. Dirk, always great to catch up. Uh, good luck finishing that, uh, that shopping list, and we'll be in touch. <laughs> Sounds great. Take care, Greg. Dirk Chatwell, the Omaha World Herald, with us here on Sports Alley. He appeared with us on our Sports Alley Hotline, brought to you by Woodhouse, where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com anytime. They've got 18 brands and a huge selection of pre-owned. You can always find what you are looking for with Woodhouse. All right, phone lines back open for you, 402-413-2400. That works for a call, works for a text. Jessica will rejoin me next. Shop Woodhouse Chevy first and experience the difference today. Whether you're looking for a new car, truck, or SUV, we have you covered. 
Our educated sales team will guide you to the perfect vehicle with features you need to fit your lifestyle so you can leave our lot feeling confident in your purchase. Plus, we make it easy to shop, finance, and purchase in-store or online at WoodhouseGM.com. Find a trusted auto partner and new roads at Woodhouse Chevy in Missouri Valley, Iowa. They say consistency is the key to success. They weren't wrong. So how about grabbing a beer that's consistently smooth, consistently refreshing, and consistently light? You might just find that the road to success can be pretty enjoyable. Michelob Ultra, the perfect balance of taste and refreshment and only 2.6 carbs and 95 calories. It's only worth it if you enjoy it. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Michelob Ultra Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm student government president Jake Drake with Campus News. Nebraska has the most technically advanced buildings in the Big Ten, according to an annual review of universities across the country. Nebraska has also saved over $85 million over the past 17 years by making long-term investments in clean, reliable energy sources, cutting-edge automation, and collaborations across campus. Greatness doesn't happen overnight. It takes time, focus, and dedication. At Shelter Insurance, we understand that because we put in the hard work and dedication for decades. And that commitment has paid off with award-winning customer service for your auto, home, and life insurance. Visit shelterinsurance.com and find an agent to help you choose the coverage you need. Shelter Insurance. We're your shield. We are your shelter. At Nebraska, our people will always be our greatest asset. Day by day, donors give our teams the best opportunity to compete and win through their generous donations. Our vision for the future is ambitious and requires help from those who want to see Husker Athletics excel at the highest level. Go big and join thousands of other Huskers Athletic Fund members with your gift today at huskers.com slash donate. Get us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Dear gas prices, go take a hike. Toyota is the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years. The Toyota hybrid lineup brings efficiency with power, savings with style, and top-notch tech to keep you connected. Not to mention plush premium interiors and the most advanced Toyota safety features. So, now you know who you're talking to. Toyota, the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years. Toyota, the brand with a hybrid or electric vehicle for every driver. Toyota, the brand that helps save you money at the pump. Now, let me ask you a question, dear gas prices. You really think you can stand in the way of the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years? <laughs> think again. Toyota Hybrids. Find yours at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Based on manufacturer estimates, CY2000 through 2021 sales. As the Huskers head to halftime, Frank is off the couch and headed for the fridge. Ooh, but he can't make it because he is so cold. The furnace is out again. SOS, he screams, and calls SOS Heating and Cooling, his favorite Luxair dealer trusted since 1950. With Luxair, you get a free 10-year labor warranty with a new system. SOS Heating and Cooling. SOS to the rescue. Beardmore Subaru celebrates Nebraska volleyball again this season. Five national championships, 47 All-Americans, and a home sellout streak dating back to 2001. The longest streak for any women's sport in NCAA history. Beardmore Subaru has been a proud supporter of Husker volleyball for more than 10 years. Beardmore Subaru in Bellevue has the new Subaru Outback Wilderness. Loaded with off-road ready upgrades and the new Solterra, Subaru's first ever all-electric and all-wheel drive vehicle. Go Big Red. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. 
Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall at Zone 6 in Exarbon Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Row townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest's premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. 402-413-2400, the number to be a part of the program with a call or a text. A couple of college football notes. We said it Friday. Caleb Williams would be the Heisman Trophy winner, and he was. I think pretty well-deserved honor. I think it also, too, goes to show you that there were quite a few people that waited to send their vote in after the championship game, and that's why Max Duggan ended up being the runner-up, right? Because he played, he earned that he spot, did. and you can tell that a lot of people were really, really impressed by what he did in the championship game against Kansas State. And so, to me, I, th I think it's always fascinating when voters, how they you know stack up their votes and when they do it and how they weigh certain importance, you know, things, uh, factors, and uh, you could tell a lot of a lot of voters probably waited and and made a decision based on the championship game. I saw some people saying that if anybody voted before the championship game, they should have their vote taken I, away. I agree. Look, yeah. See everything play itself out, and it could change your mind on that. He had the line of the night on the stage. He goes, "Well, I'm up here, and the guys that are sitting right there are all playing in the college football playoffs." Yeah. And I think, honestly, Caleb Williams, knowing him the little bit that I do, he would give the Heisman back yeah. to be able to be playing for a national title. Right. So, um, but yeah, I mean, that was um, good for him. Good for him to say that. You know, you, a lot of people, I'll take it one step further, and you're talking about this, wait for the, should they wait for the bowl season to play itself out and see somebody may have a terrific bowl game or a championship game. Maybe that. Maybe you should wait until that's over to, to make the final vote. I think after the championship game, you probably have enough to vote, and then there's this this time, this window that you can really hype it up. But if you wait until after the bowl season, then you've got NFL, po uh, you know, playoffs, and you've got all these other different things. But I mean, I guess there are a few yeah. award ceremonies that do wait in January. I just think it kind of gets people are over football or college football right. by then. Right. So, so I think this time of year is kind of perfect because you still can hype it up and there's a lot of people that still pay attention to it because it's the only thing going on college in terms of college football right now. Also, just really sad news to wake up to this morning. Mike Leach had a massive heart attack. He is hanging by a thread uh, for his his life down in, in Mississippi and just a wonderful character and uh, did a great job at Texas Tech and has done a marvelous job at uh, Mississippi State. Uh, so thoughts and prayers go out to Mike Leach. He's a real character and characters are what makes sports so fun. And Mike Leach is right near the top of all that. Let's go to Sioux City and Scott. Good evening, Scott. Welcome to the program. Hey, good evening. Thank you for taking my call. You bet. I, uh, I just wanted to comment on the, the men's basketball. All of the sports is wonderful, but uh, the one against Creighton was fantastic. And um, the game against Indiana, we might have lost that game by 30 points in the past. But right now, it appears to me that this whole team, these guys have the same DNA. And it's, it's snowballing to where... The guys come off the bench, they work their tails off. And there, there's not one one guy that doesn't come out there and do that. And I don't know that I've seen that. It's fun to watch. It is. Scott, appreciate it. Thanks for the phone call. I, yeah, and Coach Hoiberg was telling us a month or so ago, you, people are going to like this team because he'd been seeing them in practice and how hard they play and how they play together. I think we're all finding that out now. It's, it's amazing how much that will get people to buy in and be a fan of this team. I mean, I've talked about my family in particular, and they don't miss watching a men's basketball game this, this season because of how much they love watching them play and the guys that they have on the court and how hard they – people that are basketball fans appreciate the effort and the defensive the, – the dedication on the defensive end. And I, I really do think – I mean, I, I go back to Emmanuel Bandamel in my very first interview with him, and, and he, he said, yeah, I am a guy that can do a lot of different things, but I don't care what I need to do on any given night. I just want to help 
help the team win. He does not care if he scores zero points and guards the best player all night and shuts down the best player. I mean, that is how so many of these players are. They don't care whose night it is. C.J. Wilcher could not have been happier the night at Creighton and even just throughout the game yesterday. I mean, he's a team guy. There's so many guys that it might not be their night, and they're okay with that. They're okay with who's ever turn it is and as long as the result is a win and I think that speaks volumes and I, I think that translates and that's why people appreciate watching them play I certainly do I it's just so much better basketball to watch and not every team in the country plays like that either no. and I think that's why it's not just you know the type of brand that Nebraska hasn't played but it's also you don't see that from a lot of different teams where they're completely unselfish like that and a lot of times it's those kinds of teams that make the long runs and March Madness Brandon in our uh, tech YouTube stream chat says, Greg Jessica just going to say it's wet and cold out, so run to your car. I'm trying to close in livestock sheds, and I'm wet and frozen. Wow. And then nice. I asked him what kind of livestock. And then there's some concern for you in riding your scooter around today. Yeah, I, I don't have a scooter. I definitely don't have a scooter. I've tried to ride Andrew's once. I would not make it very far on that thing. Why is Andrew watching the cooking channel over there? What's he, what's he doing over there? We, we've gone to penalty kicks. I told you guys this in the break, and this might be an unpopular opinion for people listening in. I'm not a really big soccer fan, but I love it when it goes to penalty kicks. And the, we've got penalty kicks in the national championship yep, game. Yep, the men's national championship soccer match, Indiana-Syracuse, has gone to PKs, 2-2 tie through regulation and the overtime periods. So they're starting PK. So Andrew is locked into that, saying he should be out on the pitch with all those guys. <laughs> hey, Nebraska 811 says, go dig red. Before you dig, always call or click 811 to have your utility lines marked. It's free, it's easy, and it's the law. We're back with our weekend winners. Oh, boy, can't wait for this. That's next. Want to get all the latest Husker news straight to your phone? Need to be the first of your friends to get the scoop on all things Huskers? Sign up for text alerts from Nebraska Athletics. Text Huskers to 83200 to get game time notifications and updates, breaking news, special ticket offers, and more straight to your phone. All the Husker news is just a quick text away. Just text Huskers to 83200. Standard text messaging rates apply and may vary by carrier. There's a call on the field for a quality seed specific to where you farm. Make the right call with Prairie Valley. With local research in eight regions throughout Nebraska, Prairie Valley performs with their locally specific hybrids and varieties while achieving the highest quality and yield. No matter where you farm in Nebraska, Prairie Valley has the seed for where you are. Find a local dealer and learn more about the seed for where you are at prairievalleyseeds.com. Tomanaga with eight on the shot clock over to Wiltshire, seven high post. It's Walker, drives in on Edie again, throws it up, and in the first lead of the game! Derek Walker gives Nebraska a 58 57 lead. Hey, Huskers fans, tomorrow, join us for Sports Nightly as Nebraska Athletic Director Trev Alberts hosts the Nebraska AD Show at 6 p.m. Tune into your local affiliate or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red. The name on the mailbox may say Smith, Myers, Baumgartner, or Johnson, but when you choose to plant with Rob Seco, it includes your name too, making you a stockholder in a company that's invested in you with the simplicity that makes us easy to do business with, relationships that bring more to the table, the technology, traits, and genetics that take on local conditions, and people with the know-how to use it. At Rob Seco, the only stockholder we listen to is you. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. I'm University of Nebraska Lincoln student, Hanna Pham, with Campus News. Students from Nebraska's Johnny Carson Center for Emerging Media Arts helped create visual effects for the Star Wars TV series, Obi-Wan Kenobi. This opportunity came from a three-month internship with Lola VFX, a visual effects firm in Los Angeles. 
this internship transitioned to employment, with Huskers also creating effects for the superhero movie Thor, Love and Thunder. Folks, buckle up, put the phone down. A reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Final few minutes of our Monday show. This is the part of the program where we all pick a weekend winner. Tim, I'm going to start with you. Sure. I'm going Brock Purdy. Uh, Chubba's older hey, brother. Hey, Mr. Irrelevant. Awesome. And he was there. Chubba was there. Chubba was at the game. His family was there. He's getting a, the job done with the 49ers. Um, I think he's got four touchdowns on the year already. So he's doing a great job as Mr. Irrelevant, and it makes my Super Bowl pick on this show look a little bit better as I, I had San Francisco making it. They have a lot of good parts. Yeah, Can they defense. get enough play from him or whoever the quarterback ends up yep. being to win it all? They're, they're going to be right there, I think, in the NFC. All right, Andrew, what do you have for us? I'm going to go Terrence Crawford. Bud! A huge six-round KO, and I would say Omaha showed out. They, showed, they went and showed love, and he made his show. That's all I'm going to say. And that's my weekend winner. Sixth round TKO. And can we get him and Spence in the same are are arena? I mean, come on. That's the fight everybody wants to see, right? Yep. They're dodging each other. Well, I don't know that Bud's dodging him. I don't think he is. And even Shakur Stevenson, who was one of the top lightweight, he was there in attendance. And that's a big presence. And that's a big thing for Bud. Bud made 10 mil. Pretty cool. 10 mil for that, uh, that fight the other night up in Omaha. And that place apparently was rocking. I talked to some people that were there. They said it was amazing to be there. All right. Nebraska fans are the best of all sports. They support all sports. They're loud. They're rock. I love it. I love it. But I, at one time was the, and still might be, the best fighter pound for pound in the world. Yeah. Might He's getting a little long in the tooth, but he might still be the best But they fighter. just show up for every sporting event that happens around Indian. here and yep. make it the best atmosphere. All right, what are you looking at? Well, I think I'm going to go with Taylor Latimer, who won the yeah. women's weight throw at Kansas State. It was a school record, and she got a quote tweet from Matt Rule congratulating, congratulating her. But also, real quick, I, I couldn't choose. How about also the softball team giving Trev Alberts a Big Ten championship ring today? And he nice. was surprised. He didn't know it was coming. And so that video is up right now. Out to, so that was really fun to see too. That's cool. My weekend winner, CTB, Cam Taylor Britt, got a game ball yesterday from Zach Taylor. Uh, he has been playing some great football for the Bengals after he got hurt in camp. He's healthy now and he's doing a lot for that uh, team. He's uh, stepped up big time. I mean, he's Good been impressed. Him. I don't think any of us are really surprised that he's not going to back down from a challenge. And probably, too, he feels pretty comfortable matching up with any wide receiver that he faces because he's going up against <laughs> a couple of the best every single day in practice. Doing great. They're hot, too. Yeah, I was going to say the Bengals, they look like they did last year. Didn't I pick them to win the Super Bowl? Somebody, no, you had the Broncos. <laughs> <I know. laughs> You had the three and ten Broncos. I know I wanted to pick them, but I also didn't want to go with what whoever else everybody else picked. Who did you, you have see? In the NFC. I had the Bills, I think. Or AFC. The AFC. No, I didn't. Yeah. I did not. Yeah, I think you did. No, I did. You not. had Bills over 49ers. You had the 49ers. Yeah. Andrew had the Cowboys. I had the Vikings. That's right. That's right. I think you had Carolina Denver. No, I did not. I did not. I did not. I've written it down somewhere. I can't, it's not within my arm's reach here. We'll figure that out and pull that out. Did you see also to Rory and Tiger lose they to, and they put out a, a tweet. What happened? Yeah. You know, that's the big Jordan, thing. Jordan Speed and Justin <laughs> Thomas took him down. I didn't get to watch any of that. I was busy on a Saturday night. All right, tomorrow night, programming note. Trev Alberts will be here. His monthly athletic director show, hour one tomorrow. And we'll have Lauren Cook West on tomorrow night. Uh, to kind of put a bow on the, on the volleyball season. So looking forward to that. Big show headed your way tomorrow night. Thanks to Tim and Andrew and all of you for being part of this one. Back with you again tomorrow night. Good night. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. The Chevy truck lineup has something for everyone. From off-road adventures to navigating the city, our trucks have the strength to take on what's next. Plus, they are durable and come loaded with purposeful features that help you work smarter and play harder. Explore the powerful Silverado with multiple trim levels available to reach your demands. Or test drive the capable Colorado and discover the next level performance it has to offer. Find new roads at Woodhouse Chevy in-store or online anytime at woodhousegm.com. While some seed companies put a greater stake in stock prices and anonymous shareholders, Rob Seco knows that what's important to you 
hits closer to home. That's why you'll find we're focused on your needs. With a simplicity that makes us easy to do business with, a relationship that makes it easy to connect with anyone in the company, and the technology, traits, and genetics you need from any source. Put your stock in the company that puts you first. Rob Seco. Dear gas prices, go take a hike. Toyota is the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years. The Toyota hybrid lineup brings efficiency with power, savings with style, and top-notch tech to keep you connected. Not to mention plush premium interiors and the most advanced Toyota safety features. So, now you know who you're talking to. Toyota, the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years. Toyota, the brand with a hybrid or electric vehicle for every driver. Toyota, the brand that helps save you money at the pump. Now, let me ask you a question, dear gas prices. You really think you can stand in the way of the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years? <laughs> Think again. Toyota Hybrids. Find yours at Toyota.com. Toyota.